Sharon Lindsay. Jean Black. Brenda Packett. William Halpern and Cheryl Weston. Thank you. There are no citizens, so we um, don't have any questions. Moving on. Communications. Jean? Um, I did receive a letter, actually, from Rachel Cotier. You have it. It's um, inviting everyone to a board meeting. That just came in a couple days ago. So, um, and Mitch Marzo, program manager of Council, of the, Council, on, Council on Aging and Senior Centers, is holding a COA board training at their center on Friday, October 27th at 10 o'clock. Registration begins at 8:30. Refreshments will be available. The training is very is very valuable to those who are in charge of senior center, and especially all who are COA board members. So, if you want to attend, you need to let Rachel know, and it's in Leicester on Winslow Avenue. So it was a letter that came in. So I have that for you. Anybody know where the center is? In the center. In the center. Winslow Avenue. <laughs> no. Winslow Avenue. Where you go. You can yeah. see the housing. It's right. Kind of okay, we can't it's on the, the minute, so we'll have to oh, okay. table that till next month. But I need a motion to table it. I make a motion. I, I second. A second. All in favor. We're in favor because we have to table it. Okay. okay. Who made the motion? Who seconded it? Me. To second it? Me. Okay. It's not really a vote. It's just tabling something. Yeah. Okay. Director's report. Okay. You have your updated budget in your packet. Your packet has information on town funds and also for formula grant funds. But just remember formula grant funds, we don't have the exact amount yet because it hasn't been sent to us by Emmett. We're pretty sure it's going to be $9.80 an elder, which would bring our formula grant to $39,073. But Emmett said it will probably be about maybe like the second week of October that we'll have our final figures. So as you can see the front page, that's like the blue and the, the purple. That is um, the formula grant. So these numbers, if you go down the columns, is not going to add up for the 39.73 because they don't have the exact amount. This is just what was actually from last year's figures. So I went a little bit on last year's projections, and we have new. We have Zumba, so that will be um, put into contracted services next. Um, her name is Steph Boldick, and she started last Monday. And then the second page is the budget summary, the blue. This is on the town. So this is exact numbers from what we received from the town and what we've spent so far. Um, so copy machine, as you can see, in equipment maintenance, the nutrition program, the elder services of Worcester, motion picture license that we have to show the movies, um, miscellaneous supplies, supply works, um, Walmart, Stearns Electric, Ace Temperature Control, and then we also have um, funds for gas and for travel and then for conference and dues. So that's the budget. And then you have the budget, which I print off of Munis, is the next two pages. So you have all that information. Um, next is the van driver. Sue actually posted the ad last week, so we've had about maybe seven people come in. It was advertised through ZipRecruiter. I called her actually this morning because it has my wrong email address and then what's coming over is just actually someone's name and a phone number with no information. So I don't, I've never seen ZipRecruiter before. 
Um, but I do have one application from a person for the van driver position, which is for Wednesdays and Thursdays. Usually the hours between 8 and 4. Um, and the other thing that you're going to have in your packet is the next thing. It's from Julie Jacobson. And it is about um, to all the boards, commissions, and committee members. Tuesday, November 28th, that you're all invited to a meeting. So if you can let her know, I put that in your packet. There's so this correspondence there, which I had before. So you have that as well. Then we have um, from the town, we have, I spoke with Deb Dubois. And the only forms that need to be done are actually a Corey form, a Sorry form, sexual harassment policy, bullying policy, and violence weapon policy. So you have all those in the re remainder of your packet. So those are all in here. So if you could fill those out and then give me back the front page once you've read everything. So those are all those four forms. And then there isn't a HIPAA form. She said HIPAA is, is a basic law that went into effect in 1996 that states that employees will not give out any information regarding health, whether sickness or insurance, etc. And there's no signature, so there's nothing you have to sign as far as HIPAA. It's just a form to read. And she said there are not any confidentiality forms that are used or required by the town. So you don't have any of those in your packets because they don't exist. Um, let's see. I told you about the Board and Training Commission. That was the paper I just spoke about from Julie Jacobson. Um, as far as old business um, activities, what I did is I printed out, we weren't able to have our meeting, but I did print out for you a listing of all the senior center programs that have been here um, since when I started. I started in January, but everything was done for January and February because the newsletter goes out a month previous. So I do have every program that we've had for March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So you can certainly take a look at that. Um, Let's see. Some of the programs coming up for October. We still have um, started Zumba Gold. It wasn't yesterday because we were closed, but our first day we had about eight people that came for um, Stephanie Goldick. Um, so they seem to like it. That? I'm not understanding you at all. Okay. Can you go a little slower? Where, where do you want me to back up from? Uh, this last thing. Okay, so start. our new programs for October. Yep. We have Zumba program, which started last week. Zumba, okay. Yep. Um, Stephanie Boldick, B O L D U C. She's in the in the notes. She had about eight people here on Monday, so that was a good start for the class, I think. We have Festival of Lights coming up on November the sixteenth at twelve thirty. Usha Verma is um, hosting that program. Um, the last of my life, my health, is this Thursday at 9 o'clock. They usually go from like 9 to 11.15. The Trinity Band will be here on October 24th at 10.30. It's all in your, in your thing. Um, anyone's welcome to come to that. We just asked to sign up. If you want to come for lunch, we ask to come for a two-day notice ahead of time. Kitchen safety presentations on 10.23 at 9 a.m. And that's the um, test from the fire department. She'll be here conducting kitchen safety. Halloween party is October 31st. Everyone's asked to come and just, as I said, sign up ahead of time and to wear a Halloween costume. And then um, our flu clinic sponsored by the Board of Health will be here October 19th from 9 to 12. They ask that you pre-register. You don't have to register, but they ask just if you could, so we have the book at the front desk. November, we have the Swanson School coming in on November 6th for our Veterans Day program. They'll be here at 1 p.m. Um, and then after that, on the 13th at 10.30, we have Ted Powers, who does a musical performance. He has guitar, sings, and plays the harmonica. Senator Moore's Turkey Dinner is November 20th at 12 o'clock, which we ask that you sign up for. And then we are closed for Veterans Day, which is Friday, November 10th. And then we're closed on Wednesday, November 22nd, closing at 12, and we're closed Thursday and Friday, November 23rd and 24th. So, that's all I have. There's no report on your flood about it, you're not here? Bob's at the doctor's. You don't have anything on the newsletter? Nope, he's still working on the newsletter. He's starting November. Okay. I need a motion to um, table the rental policy. We didn't have a meeting, so just give me a motion. 
I make a motion. I second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Tabled. It's not really a vote, it's just uh, that we're tabling it and there was no meeting because nobody showed up. We will have that meeting uh, an hour before the next meeting, which is on November 14th, and we'll have it at 9 o'clock, and uh, hopefully we'll have it posted. Okay. Thank you. Any new business? I just want to ask the board. When you come in for your board meetings or if you're here for a receptionist or whatever, if you could um, sign in on the My Senior Center. Um, Jean, I have you as never signing in for any of the meetings that you attend for volunteer and care. I signed in every here. single time. I signed in when I came here today. What do you sign in as? Myself. As coming to a <laughs> program or under volunteer? I sign in under the meeting. Okay. So for the meeting and I sign up. Okay, I'll double check you because you're not coming up in my volunteer report. Well, I don't know anything about your volunteer report, but I do it every single okay. time I come I want to see how you're how you're signing in because I think if you don't go under volunteer. It comes up, you put your little thing on there and off you go. Okay, I'm just going to double check. All right, and then Lillian, if I could have you check yours as when I was running the numbers, you're double punching on some days because and you're coming in. It doesn't come in. It and you're coming up. out for 11 hours. So if you oh, could no. just double check this, that, the ones I, I highlighted. I couldn't delete that one. Okay, you can just double check these, because it just has to be for hours that you're physically volunteering for the senior Yeah, center. okay, but I couldn't delete it. That's what happened. Okay. So how do you delete? If you let me know, I can go back in and I can override it and put oh. you in for the correct hours. Okay. Um, so, oh yes, yeah, so like Joan, I have Bob, um, Brenda, I have you in, and Sharon, I have you in. So I just, it's just good for my formula grant, just so I can keep track of volunteer hours. I've actually mm -hmm. talked to people that don't want to sign, and they ask me, why are we doing this? And I tell them okay. the reason behind it, and then they're like, okay with it. Okay. So. Yeah, it's just it's just because part of the state formula grant. Right. Um, they'll ask you, and then the other thing is we do the volunteer lunch, which the COA will kind of um supplement money for, so it goes on the number of volunteers that you have working over 25 hours and uh in a year, so you can spend sixteen fifty of that money towards the volunteer. So it's just good just to have numbers that you can say how many people are volunteering, how many people are coming in for certain programs. You can't force anyone to sign in, but it's just if they could, that would be helpful. I think if us. you explain it to them, yeah, then I don't mind. Yeah, that if anyone, they can. I can always help them too. Um, that's all I really had in that. I guess this one. Thank you. Yep. Any other new business? We already did a program update. And there's no citizens. Need a motion to adjourn unless there's anything else to motion discuss. Motion to adjourn. I second it. Next meeting is November 14th. But the um, special meeting for the rent rental policy is 9 o'clock. An hour before. The meeting. Okay, that's it.